all these things was all because of the 49 cents sale. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Mireya. For this video, I will be sharing with you guys what I bought at Ross Dress for Less. I also want to talk to you guys very quickly before I get started with the haul. So please, if you don't want to listen to all this blabbering, please forward to the minute that I will be leaving somewhere over here. I want to give my thoughts on this 49 cent sale. And please, I don't mean to offend anybody in any way. This is just my experience, my thoughts on all of this. But I do want to give my honest opinion what I think about all this 49 cent deal. It is true. Things do go on sale for 49 cents. It's not the whole store. And when I first heard about this 49 cent sale at Ross, I was pretty excited. I've been waiting for this sale for a month now. I told my mother-in-law and everybody here in the family, come with me, let's go for this sale. And when we walked in, we were the first ones in the store and we were expecting for one of the areas in the store to just be dedicated to the sales right for everything to be on sale in just one area of the store well it's nothing like that all the sales are distributed distributed through the whole store for example the kids section it could have some of the out christmas outfits could be 49 cents some of the women's dresses could be 49 cents so everything is distribu distributed in every area throughout the whole store it is true things do go on sale I know someone that works that's been working at the store. I've known her for seven years now. And she did tell me that things do go on sale and they're all throughout the whole store. There is a person that does these markdowns on Mondays, every Monday from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. or sometimes even to 2 p.m. So there is someone that's doing the markdowns. Now, will you find something at your store? It just varies by store. I couldn't find anything in my store. So that's when I told my family, I'm like, hey, you guys wanna come down to a different store? It's, an, it's about an hour away, let's go. Let's see if this is true, the 49 cent deal. We went to the other store and nothing was on sale for 49 cents. There were other things that were at discounted price. There were things that we didn't wanna buy things that we didn't need. Did we spend money? We spent money. We saw things that we needed that we don't normally go shopping. So we were looking throughout the whole store and all of us, we bought stuff. Nothing was 49 cents the, out of the things we purchased, but there were things we needed. So we ended up buying them. Things will get marked down. Most of the stuff that d does get marked down is like the holiday stuff, or I'm just gonna give you guys an example. Please, it's not true. It's just an example. An example, please. So don't take it as if these are the real prices. I'm just giving you guys an example. Let's say there's a Michael Kors purse, 80 bucks. It didn't sell in six months, or maybe it didn't sell in a month. There is a person that's in charge of bringing new merchandise to the store every Monday. So they need room to put all this new merchandise. So they put things on sale. So this purse, let's say it's been there a year, six months. I don't know how long. It's been there for quite a while now. There, It's 80 bucks. It doesn't sell in a month or six months or a year. It's gonna go down to 40 bucks. Okay, it doesn't sell next week. It's gonna go down to 20 bucks. You walk in and you see this purse. It's no longer 20 bucks, it's five bucks. Are you gonna buy a Michael Kors purse for five bucks? I am. I buy it for five bucks. Next week it was gonna be 49 cents. Neither you or I are gonna get that purse for 49 cents because I bought it for five bucks. So let's just say no, I don't wanna buy it. I wanna wait till it's 49 cents. Someone else might beat you to it. You might be lucky. Congratulations, you bought this purse for 49 cents. Good job, great. You were so lucky because they're not gonna be putting hundreds of purses for 49 cents. Let's just be real, guys. Most of this stuff is gonna be holiday stuff. Yes, you will be lucky to find a couple things for 49 cents as purses, as I mentioned, shoes, whatever it is. At least in my store, they didn't have anything for 49 cents. If I ever find something that's for 49 cents, I will let you guys know. I'm not saying this is a lie, this does happen, this is real, but there's not much product out there that's gonna be 49 cents. Maybe you'll be lucky if you go to the store every Monday to see all of these sales. I'm not gonna be wasting gas to go to the store every Monday because first of all, I live quite far from my Ross. Another reason, I'm not gonna go camp out and live at the store to check on these sales. I am not gonna do it because this time that we went, 
We spent a whole bunch of money. Yeah, yes, there were things we needed. But every time we go to the store, we're gonna spend money and I don't wanna spend money. I need to save for other things that are important. So those are my thoughts, guys. I hope that I did not offend anybody. I am not here to put the people down that are making these videos that are selling things for 49 cents. Nowadays, everyone interprets things in their own way. You go to the store, everyone likes to put people down so please do not give me hate for this i'm just giving you guys my thoughts my opinion and the way that my dad would say it like why do you want to go to the store every monday and spend money you're gonna go and spend money so might as well stay at home save your money and use it towards something good so let's move on with the haul now that i got all of that out of my chest i hope you guys don't take it the wrong way please i really hope you guys don't so one of the ross stores that we went to these are the things I'm going to be showing you right now. I purchased these brushes. This is a dish brush. I needed a dish brush to scrape all of my pans, dirty dishes. Look at this. It's a pretty hard brush. This was, um, how much was this? This was $2.99. It's a regular tag. It's nothing that's going to be going on sale. So one thing that was possibly going to go on sale was this cute dress. Look at this. This is a, such a pretty dress, guys. This was $149, original price $14.99. This is something with that purple or pinkish tag. Kind of pinkish to me, purple to others. <laughs> this is one of the tags that, one of the items that could go on sale for 49 cents. If I would have left it at the store, it was the only one there. And I think that someone else could have beat me to it if I, if I would have left it there and waited another week. So I went ahead and purchased it. It comes with a really cute headband right here. Right here. That's so cute. Okay, and I also got this omelet pan. Non-stick. I like it to make omelets or sunny side up eggs. Because you can cook it this way and then just turn it this way. I used to have an, like another pan like this, like a small one. And then the, the handle fell off pretty fast. This was $9.99. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen to this pan. Please do not fall apart on me. I also got this OXO Softworks. This is a deep clean brush. I like to clean the bathroom, to clean all kinds of places where I can't get to clean those small areas. I usually use a toothbrush, but my toothbrushes are soft. I needed a brush that was pretty hard, you know, that I'll get into all that. All of those uh, small areas, difficult to clean. Wiper blade clears built up dirt out of drains. This right here, I'm pretty excited to clean. Who's excited to clean with me? Who's enjoying these cleaning videos that I'm sharing with you guys? I am, I like cleaning. My sister and I have always liked cleaning. We're like clean freaks. Ever since we were little, we always cleaned our room every weekend. We never had cable TV, so we had to watch whatever was on TV, which wasn't any good. Especially on the weekends, like they didn't have as much cartoons out there, which those are the days that they should have had more cartoons because come on, kids are off school. But no, we didn't have as much cartoons, so we would play outdoors or clean our room. And that was fun to us, yes. I think that's why uh, we grew up being uh, deep cleaners because ever since we were little, we would compete who had the cleanest room and we became clean freaks. Yes, my house is not always clean, no, but I try to keep it clean and it gets messy again. <laughs> I remember back in the day when I didn't have my little one. I'm so happy that I do. Thank my Lord Jesus Christ, Father God in heaven that sent us our son. I'm so happy and blessed to have him. My house used to be so clean, so clean where I couldn't clean anymore. I would just lay down on the couch and do nothing. No, I just, I used to work on my videos back in the day a lot more. My house was so clean that when my friends would come over, they'd be like, how do you keep your house so clean? My friends already had kids and I didn't. So one time I said, hmm, you know what? I think it is, I think the secret is that I don't have kids because they don't make a mess. That's one of the reasons why my house was always so clean because I would clean all the time and there was nothing else to do nothing else to do that's what i recommend when you're bored clean 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 that'll take the boredom away i'm talking too much anyways i'm gonna moving on i bought this shower curtain i needed a shower curtain my curtain my shower curtain that i currently have is pretty bad nasty dirty i haven't gone to the store to buy another one but i buy the disposable ones but this one's not disposable this one's washable pretty excited about that i don't like the blue color sky blue but this is the only one they had. 
and my mother-in-law was gonna buy a shower curtain so I'm like you know what I should buy one too and I like that these are washable this one the water glides right off this is like something new to me like I've never seen a shower curtain like this before metal Gromitz weighted hem so it keeps it down this was $5.99 which I think it's a pretty good deal I don't even know how much they sell it at other stores but I was pretty happy with it. All these things was all because of the 49 cents sale. <laughs> I went on, I went to the store looking for a 49 cents deal and I found nothing. But I bought a whole bunch. Spent some money, unnecessary, no, spent some money, but I needed these things. Moving on, I bought my little one. This sweater is so soft. This is probably going to be for next year because we live in Arizona and it's getting pretty hot already. Already in the month of Jan January, it's getting pretty hot. This is so warm, so, so warm, so cute and warm. The next store we went to was Ross, another Ross. Yes, one that's pretty far away from home. This one doesn't have a name on the bag. I have proof that it's from Ross. I have the receipt right here. So guys, we've been watching Undercover Boss and I was watching this show where it's the Nest, Nestle, Nestle cookies. The owner goes to different stores. She changes her look so people don't recognize her as the owner of the company. And they go, they go around stores and, um, warehouses just to see if they could improve on their with their business right at the end they find people that are working for their company that are very dedicated and they usually like give them a big prize this girl was rewarded with a car but anyways they also give them money but the owner of this um, restaurant said she wasn't happy because the the cups didn't have the name on them the coffee cups randomly i'm thinking hey the owner of Ross is going to be pretty upset when he finds out that the logo is not on the bags that they're giving. See? Anyways, random note there. I bought this wallet, guys. I've been looking for a wallet. Uh, my wallet's pretty old. It's like tearing apart already. Yeah. Needed a wallet. I like that it's small. My credit cards could go in here. Driver's license. I like that it closes with a zipper. Because I don't want my driver's license or credit cards flying all over or even falling anywhere got this i gotta make sure that i close the zipper right once i'm done using it i bought my son's a couple of t-shirts pretty good price not on sale 3.99 look at how cute you can't buy these shirts anywhere else for under three bucks or under 3.99 i got this other one this one's a spider-man and the last one that i got was this mickey mouse one those are so cute guys I also got this. This is the kitchen towels. These also were not on sale, but it's something that could possibly go on sale if it doesn't sell. I obviously need new kitchen towels. I still had my Christmas ones, which I already took down. And you guys already probably saw that video where I'm sharing with you how I cleaned and took down my Christmas tree. Well, I took down the, the Christmas towels and I got these cute ones. They're so pretty. I was not going to wait till the sale because I needed something that looked cute. And I needed them. So that is all, guys. Those are all the things that I purchased at Roth on the attempt on going to find things for 49 cents. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you like that button. And if you're mad and upset because of what I said, I do apologize in advance. And you are welcome to rate this video however you'd like. But thank you again for watching. Have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Peace.